All right, what's up guys? Today is a nice day. I'm gonna meet out uh, with some fellas out at uh, Lake Mooney here in Northern Virginia. It's my first time going there, so um, I heard it's a nice place. Uh, the guys I'm meeting up with are uh, Darnell and Corey. You've probably seen them before in my videos. So they're mainly into FPV, and also they fly camera drones as well. So let's see if I can get some nice uh, FPV footage from either one of them. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm going to actually uh, try to do a little vlog. Alright, so I'm running a little late, so I gotta kind of hurry up. I'm going to be probably like 30 minutes, 40 minutes late. But anyway, you guys stick around and I'll see you when I get there. Alright? Alright guys, just getting here, Lake Mooney. We already got a couple guys out here flying. We got Corey out here with his uh, Mavic Air 2 up in the air right now. My gang, gang of what? Bumblebees. <laughs> Tonight on our late night smooth buttery. And we got the man, the myth, the legend, the legend, CL Tech here. Mm -hmm. No hands this time. Yeah, no hands. Recognize those hands? There we go. He's the man. And we got Rick here. He's a uh, newbie. He wants to learn uh, FPV. Better man than I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll try. All right. And then finally, we got Carbon D. Getting ready to break something. <laughs> Probably. About to put his Zeno up. All right, so I'm a little late. I uh, wanted to put my or put Chris's Mavic Mini up in the air. I'm not sure if I got enough time to do that, but um, I will do that. We are going to another location in Fredericksburg. I think it's a uh, quiet harbor. So I uh, will eventually get the Mavic Mini up in the air. And also I do have the Mavic Pro Platinum. And I might also put that in the air too. Uh, just to see what it's like. I was able to get uh, my hands on one and um, I'm just going to put that up in the air for the first time really. I already did my my checks and everything at home but I'm going to actually uh, put it up in the air today. So um, we're going to watch these guys with uh, their drones and I'm also going to put mine up in the air. So stay tuned. You don't need to worry. Alright, change of plans. I'm actually going to put the Mavic Mini up in the air here at Lake Mooney uh, because there, once I go to Aquaria Harbor, there will be a um, restriction and I will have to go ahead and unlock it. And I don't want to take all that time to do it, so I'm going to fly here real quick, get some some footage, and hopefully uh, Donnell actually got some footage with his FPV, and um, we're going to put that together and see what that looks like. So this is my final flight with this little guy. I'm going to miss it. Um, it served me well on my channel, so I am going to miss it. It also uh, made me uh, think about buying one, but uh, I may hold off on that with the rumors of the a Mavic Mini 2. Uh, I'm not sure how true that is, but 
I may hold off just a little bit before I get one, um, but I definitely will be getting one. So I'm gonna get this ready and I'm gonna put this up in the air now and get some footage. Can't take another cloud day. My smile has been hiding. I'm wishing I could fly away. All the colors they have seem to fade. And I'm trying to fight it. But I'm so ready for a change. Today I woke up to a sound. So I looked out my window and I saw the sparrows flying around. Push the curtains to the side and the sunrise bursting through, giving me a new state of mind. to uh, Kauai Harbor now. We're going to change locations and do some more flying. And um, so I guess I'll see you when I get there. All right. What you plan on doing with it? Uh, just gonna head straight out over to the other side, uh, fly around a little bit, go over to that little hunting hide, and then come back and get a few shots of this one. Oh, okay, all right. All right, so what, what you got here, Daniel? Well, um, finally, after all this testing and testing and testing, I'm finally sending my, my 119 over water. Um, I did my one mile goal Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks ago, I'm very satisfied with that. So, send it over the water down toward this bridge. It seems like it's about two miles away, but I um, think I'll get there. I may try to push two kilometers and just see what the um, VTX video signal is going to look like. Okay. I don't know. I'm kind of intimidated with the whole FPV thing. Uh huh. It takes a it takes a little time. So right. It's going to take some time for me. I stick to the camera, the regular camera drones. Yeah, that'll get played out soon. <laughs> Put it around the sky. You know you want the speed. Yeah. You want the speed. But I do I do like the FPV mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to like cinematic. Right. I like how that looks. Yeah. Uh, the close proximity type, you know, the panning, the turning, and right. um, diving and all that stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how you like this location, though? You haven't been down here before. Nope. Never been down here. I like it. Nice and wide open. You can fly. You do need to get your little authorization if you have a DJI drone, but... Um, I like it. I might add, do that before you get here. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't try and do it when you get here. Yeah, right? You'd be like Corey sitting here for a half hour trying to get authorization. <laughs> Damn, because I was going to put it on mine. Yeah, make sure you do the authorization before you get here. <laughs> <laughs> that way you're not sitting there waiting. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right, so I'm hauling all my stuff in uh, the this new bag I got. The Endurax uh, camera bag, Endurax. It's a nice little camera bag. 
uh, it holds a lot of my stuff. As you see, I have my Mavic Mini, the Mavic Pro Platinum, and I have my Mavic Air 2 sitting right here. And it holds, um, you know, both my controllers, batteries, my camera lens, and, uh, you know, some more batteries here. Then you have this detachable uh, panel here, like that. You pull it off whenever you want to, and you can stick whatever in here you want. I have my spare props here with some cords, and I have my SD cards sitting right there as well. So this bag definitely comes in handy. It holds a lot, and a couple things I like about it. One thing I like about it, you can stand it straight up, just like this, and just sit it right there. And then you can access this hard shell on top, which I have some other stuff on in here too. So the hard shell protects your contents in the bag. And it's another thing I like, really like about this bag, which you guys may think is corny, but I'll show you in a minute. All right, so like I said, my most favorite thing about this bag is I don't have a landing pad with me, but check this out. Bam, landing pad. I can actually just take off from here. So I just flew the Mavic Air 2 with these uh, Freewell variable ND filters. Um, so uh, I noticed a red and orange tint or something like that. It looks kind of reddish or orange. After speaking with CL Tech, he, he told me that and I actually noticed it today and also on my last video that I put up on YouTube. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually take them off, I already took it off, and I'm just going to run it in auto, let's see what happens here, all right? So right off the bat, I noticed off the FPV that the color or the temperature was a little different. Now my settings are all auto with the exception of the um, white balance. I had that set at around 5500 Kelvin and um, it was the same when I had the filters on here. So there is a difference and I don't know if I like that. I wanted these uh, free well indie filters, but if it's going to change the look of the, the footage. Uh, I might just have to get the regular uh, set. This is a beast. I love this uh, this drone. Mavic Air 2 is all my, always a go-to. So today was my last flight with the Mavic Mini. Uh, I want to thank Chris the QC guy for lending it to me. And um, I really like that drone. It's very compact, light, compact. You can deploy it real quick. Uh, you can get some good footage with it. And if you haven't seen uh, my uh, first video with it, uh, my cinematic video i'll leave a link in the description below and also probably here on the screen as well so go ahead and check that out so today was a nice day for flying uh met up with some guys and you know did a lot of flying today so we've been out here for quite a while like five or six hours now and um 
it's been good. So if you enjoyed this little mini vlog, it's my first attempt at vlogging. And if you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you like this type of content, go ahead and be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. So until next time, guys, go ahead and browse around on the channel and check out some more of my videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.